Hello and welcome, this is S Tier Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and get started. Um Come in. Last I looked, Sorry, there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Last time I played, I think that I just got done selling some of my beast and I cleared out um, most of my stuff and signed up the rumor requirement. So I think today might be a good day to pick up a uh, mainline quest and go from there. Let's see, how about we do the Shadow and the Study real quick. And maybe we'll do a main quest after that. Okay. like I finally got another one of the Hogwarts Foo Flames that I was missing. Hey, what's this? Huh. Almost looks like a Deathly Hallows type symbol. Interesting. what this puzzle is. I'll have to look it up. The different symbols make me think of different spells. Hmm. I'm not sure I've been over this way very much. Certainly not in the Slytherin common room. I guess I didn't pick the closest wart possible. Revelio. Hey, there's a, a Kelpie statue. The statue depicts a Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is a Loch Ness monster in Scotland. That looks pretty cool. Here we go. Got to hide from this treasure chest. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, here we go. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. <laughs> there he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. 
Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! Can you bring up his grand access to the Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. Aha, uh -huh. here is happening. <laughs> I hope we're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. I do plan to not learn <laughs> forbidden. I don't know, I forget what curse is, but... We'll see. Let's prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts, as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there is more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I've written to my brother. He now knows how I access the corridor's entrance, and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead, and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Not a sure journal I'm entry, right. signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt, ominous. Your family was here. I know. Repair her. She was my aunt. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. Revelia must be the voice I hear. Mm. The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no good for you. Forward. Like a maze. Rebellion. Salazar Slytherin most hmm. likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Assuming we gotta do something with that snake. The dial requires focus. 
Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Well, I can't get out of it. Do you want to strike? That didn't sound oh. good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. It's like a circle type thing and a snake. What's that? Ouroboros. There we go. We'll Matching the symbols somewhere. did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <laughs> nice work. Let's go check this part out first. It looks like it might be a dead end. Um, we need to get us um, Lumos going. Lumos. Ah, another one. Um. Confringo. Oh, this is number three, so. Let's go back, because I think that'll probably be forward progress. Lumos. Hmm. Okay, looks like maybe a cat. It's some sort of symbol. It looks vaguely like a Z, letter Z. I bet you there's a note back here, too. Confringo. Lumos. There it is. Salazar Slytherin buried the Scriptorian deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I'm a descendant. Yeah, I feel unwelcome. Lighting these from Braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. Not sure. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Plus one in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Well, let's see. I don't think there was actually a lock associated with this dial, but I want to go back down here and look again. Lumos. I felt the dial and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. The scriptorium must have proof that there is more to our legacy than meets the eye. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. Hmm. I don't see a place to use it, so maybe it's uh, somewhere within this next room that I just unlocked. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we become. I know it. Not sure Actually. references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Ah, okay. It's like this, almost like a little fish symbol and sort of like a letter M? I'm not sure. It's a little bit obscured. Very interesting glyphs. Another, not the welcoming sort, was it? Oh, I think that's not an it, actually. No, maybe not. Here we go. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. <laughs> Lumos. something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my answer, Rebellion. we cannot stop now. Hmm. I wonder what this is going to be. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Lumos. Hmm. Let's see, mentioning Crucio, but pretty sure we don't want to do that. 
Number five of five. I lost out. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to guess it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar slither and created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish he had parted on better terms. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? Hmm. Am I free to do this? Like... If I end up getting the unforgivable curses, let me see if I can see how to avoid it. Looking now, looking now. Let's see, does it have any issues? Just looking to see if there are consequences. Okay, well it looks like there's not really any issues with it. I'll just see all I ask him and maybe we'll he learn him anyways. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Okay. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. Hmm. Well, I could go ahead and learn it.
Let's see, I want to learn a Cruciatus Curse, but you must cast it on me. Very well, I don't want to learn the Cruciatus Curse and teach me the Cruciatus Curse and I'll cast it on you. Well, hmm. If there's not really any reason not to, I do feel a little bit bad about playing the game and, you know, not having three of the game's, uh, you know, potential spells to use. So I think that I might do it and I'll. As to make up for it, I'll let Sebastian. I want do to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Appreciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We Revenia, Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we're here. A secret and well protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long term plans with respect to the student population, reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders. Yeah, this was a. Uh, Intense. Sebastian. So they're in spellbook. Nice. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I want to. Rebellion. May I have a look? Yeah, in a minute, sir. I'm raiding this place. And how cool would it be to have a giant castle with a hidden chamber in it? And. He just drank some stale swill, I'm telling you. This is all really cool. Let's see, is that sunlight? It almost looks like sunlight coming out of that. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional. He has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought, one who shall rid the school of those unworthy Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. Rebellion. Ooh, that's totally foreshadowing of Voldemort there, isn't it? What do you think? Looks like a spellbook of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. Revelio. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Okay, here we go. I guess this is going to be a shortcut back into this room. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. 
I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. In the shadow of the city. Hey, we leveled up, finally. Okay, well I suppose that that concludes that mission and I have a new spell. So, Crucio causes most enemies to rhyme in pain as they take damage over time. Also curses the victim and curse enemies take extra damage. Um, you know, I might try it out. I'm still debating, but I think that it would be interesting to give everything a try, you know, um, because this may be my one and only playthrough. Uh, you just never know. And if we end up going like through a second playthrough, I could do Slytherin and, you know, use it like all the time or something. <laughs> um, but I might try to do it, you know, occasionally or maybe even as a last resort. So well, I'm excited to do another quest, but we're also about 26 minutes in. So let's go to um, the rumor requirement and maybe I'll clear off a few other things on the map. Oh, I totally went to the wrong place. Um, and we'll save a, a main story quest um, until our next stream. Okay. No, actually, I may spend a little time decorating in the room of requirement, too. Um, let's use that up. And let's see, we've got an Endurus. Okay. And let's Big see. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. No, unidentified. That's good. And we could go for the animals here in a minute. We'll do that, I think, as well. I'm keep things in stock. Nope. I need to start using my mandrakes more often. Okay, how are we doing on potions? I could use some focus potion. I don't know if I have what it takes, so I feel like I need a dug bog or something. Oh, now I've got some. We'll just go ahead and get one brewing. Kind of like to have at least 10 of every potion so that I can continue my adventures, you know. I don't have to worry too much. Alright, little beasties. You get a cuddle, and you get a cuddle, and you get a cuddle. Come here, Halloween. Or Hippogriff. <laughs> Come here, little buddy. Oh, you've already had your feet. I'm giving everybody the wrong actions. Pretty easy. Trying to feed it, but it's not taking it. There we go. Okay, what about this puff scheme? Okay, it just needs a cuddle. There we go. How about you, little buddy? Let's see. Looks like I have a Puskeen I need to collect from, and a Flooper needs a little attention. Oh, it's eating now. Okay. There we go. Okay. Looks like there's another Puskeen I need to collect from. See, are there four in here? 
Here, we'll just summon it over. Come here, buddy. Okay, what else? Um, looks like I need to collect from Halloween. There we go. And... Is that it? Yep. Let's go to the other chamber. Take things. You should be proud of all the potions. to do the uh, brush on them, but missed it. There we go. Missing sepulchre is getting a bit of food. Come on, little Niffler. Okay, let's see. Looks like you need... Brushing. So do you. Okay. <laughs> Estral's rolling around like a little doggy. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's ready to collect too. Okay. Okay, this one will be ready for a pet here in a minute. There we go. And the deer call, we'll probably need to pet it as well. There we go. See anybody left? Looks like we got them all. Okay. Uh, let's look in our room requirement a little bit and see if there's any decoration we want to do. Thinking about changing, <coughs> excuse me, the theme up again. To uh, more of a bright daytime. I'd like to ask you about changing the rooms. Of course. I like alternating between uh, the morning and. Let's see. I can't remember if this is a bright one or not. Huh. Okay, this might be the brightest one, but that's okay. I think I might stick with it. Okay, so I think that my main thing is, is that I feel like if I were to pay close attention, I could probably get the layout a little bit more efficient um, than I currently have it. You know, I have so much fertilizer that I'm probably not going to use that I could probably go down to just one of these, honestly, and then get more of them as I like. And with that, I can move these over here, and uh, I would imagine I have enough room to go from there. I think I've got a bunch of artwork over here that I never took up too, looks like. I think it's going to look better in the end. Um, I might rearrange that a little bit more, but first I want to have Inesco up some of these things. And I'm pretty sure I didn't put any of these up. Okay. But I could be misremembering. Uh, let's see. Let's spin it like this and... I think overall this will make things a lot less crowded and that'll make it nice. Okay, and let's lay down another one of those. Um, let's see, is it in utility? No. Potions, herbology. No, it's not going to be in wall hangings. Decorations? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's the wrong one. There we go. 
Now why is that one blue and this one is gold? I can't remember if I ever did figure out how to do that. Um, Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. You gotta first um, cast it. Take things. You should be mm. proud of all the potions you. Let brewed. me try. We'll try again. So you gotta first put down the color that you desire, and then transform it. Okay. Here we go. Okay, nice. So that gives it kind of its own dedicated little space. And um, there's enough room over there now that I could probably put the Niffler statue to kind of uncrowd this area. Oops, a tiny, a tiny bit. Yeah, there we go. Kind of put it over here in the corner. <laughs> it's a little decoration to stare at. Um, <laughs> okay, I think I want to keep the hobby pots. Um, I have so much moonstone, I don't even know how much I have right now. Uh, let's see, can I tell if I cast this? Okay, I've got nearly a thousand, so I really don't think I need to use that bad. Um, I think similar to the other one, we'll get down to just one, and since this is over here, and we got just this other one, um, I think we can move them together. Maybe we'll have a reason to need so many at one point, but I'm not seeing it right now. See, I'm just trying to see how these look on each angle. Um, I'm gonna go down to two chopping stations because I don't think I need three per se. And that way I could turn them both the same way too. Okay, we'll place it over here first and then we'll work on turning it. Let's see, can this one move back further? Or is it? Okay, there we go, nice. All right, well this looks a little bit more uh, interesting and reasonable, I'd say. Um, now, can I duplicate this? Doesn't look like it. Um, I would like to change this one to be the blue color. So let's add an Esco it and we'll cast our other one and then we will go back in and use our spell to change it there we are and let's repeat it get one for this side I wish that there was a, another way to change the style. Oh, I just realized you can change the size of this too. Oh, no, that's interesting. Um, I didn't even think about changing the size of the lights. Oh, no, that's really intriguing. I'm gonna have to play with that some more. Um, I'll be thinking about what's possible with that. Can we do it with this stuff too? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, however, I do wonder if I can change it to a different style. It's more interesting because it's been a while. Well, that one looks kind of cool. Let's do it. Let's check out this one too. Hmm. Okay. Let me uh, back out. We'll go back in one more time. I think I might like... Oops. 
keep moving too much thinking it's going to rotate, but that's not how it works. Let's do this one. Um, let's check out the chopping station and see what they can look like. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demigai statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demigai's moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. Uh -huh. Let's see what else Deep we can things. do. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Interesting that they only have one style. Let's make this one green. I think I'm going to change the botanical walls. You gotta go everywhere with that, though, don't you? Yeah, we'll do it. I think I like the scientific set, and then we'll go with botanical where we can. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Protego. Okay, we have a few things to Evanesco here. So many walls to change. That's okay. I am in a wall changing mindset right now. There we go. Uh, let's see, let's Evanesco this guy. And. Okay, that's a wall still. Looks like, is this something to edit? Looks like I'm, I'm getting a cursor on it. Oh, huh. Botanical wall arch. There we go. Yeah, I like this uh, having plants everywhere motif. Like, could you imagine having all this fresh air circulating through? Like, it would be lovely. Oh yeah, this is starting to feel like a proper home. Oops. Wish I could assign like a single button for casting. Um, so I had to get this every single time. Okay. Oops, I don't know why I keep doing Portega. <laughs> All right. Oops. Plane for a botanical entrance there. Oh, there it is. It's got more stuff on this side. Okay. Yeah, the scientific is alright, but this is so plain that I'm happy to change it, I think. I think this is actually more interesting than I thought it would be, so this is working out well. Okay. There's actually a book flying around up there too. I'm not sure those were there before. Ah, I didn't do this side. Missed that. go look at uh, some other people's room of requirements, see what they've done, because I'd love to get some cool ideas. Ooh, nice. Even the ceiling unit can be replaced. OK, 
Okay, I think that I've got everything in this room. I might need to go back and check out the large main room. Uh, I have a feeling I don't have it yet. Now what about the floors? Ah, that's definitely something I haven't done yet. So let's go back in here and I wonder if this is something I missed. Yep. Um, yeah, so we need to get the floor. Okay, and what else have we missed? I guess this is this way. Okay. Oh, this whole area. I didn't think about it. Botanical entrance. Um, I think I already got this part right. Nope, I didn't. You know, that's a... It's That'd be another really convenient thing is if you could just ask Deke to change everything at once. Um, that would be ideal. This is a lot of spellcasting. Alright. Wow. Wow. Oh, let's see what the other main scene is going to look like. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay. Wow, I had no idea you could do that. Actually, I'm really digging the uh, botanical theme. I can't believe I didn't mess around with it earlier. Okay, now what about this? Okay, I bet this is actually a wall too. Oh, maybe not. Alright, uh, looks like I've got most things done now. Um, got the floor. What about, let's see, is there anything else? Perhaps this? No, it's the main ceiling. Part of the main ceiling. Okay. Um, this one. Nope. Hmm. Well, I do believe that that might be it. Um, looking around, looking around. Everything looks like that might be it. Okay. Uh, now let's move our unicorn to the center a little bit. I just made it further away. Protego. Go there to start. Now we'll move our little unicorn. Um, there we are. I think that's centered. It's at least a lot closer than what it was before. Alright, cool. And... Take things. Let's you should see. be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I'm trying to think if I want to reposition anything else in here. Especially now that I know I can make uh, giant lamps, you know. Kind of makes me want to go back to nighttime and have just a bunch of lamps, you know. Um, I know there's going to be another vivarium, at least one other, maybe two. I'm not positive. And. I think maybe this side room might expand at some point randomly too. Um, so we still got you know plenty of play area left to go there. Uh, let's see. I think I want to move these to be kind of similar to the other stations. They'll be along the wall and that way I can get another lamp in place. Yeah, here we go. And let's uh, back out of there. And do a oops spell, but get it changed. All right, nice. And let's move this one. Oops. Keep doing that over and over. Still not hitting it. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm feeling pretty happy about this. This is like looking a lot better, more interesting, and just a uh, cooler layout in general. Um, if I got rid of one of the hopping pots, I could 
make this a little bit more sparse and I think that that might be to my advantage um, let's take this we'll pick that up and we'll get us another one going oh hi there Sephiroth take things you should be proud of let's all see the what we get here brood. and we'll do this and let's see. Okay. Kaboom. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, no, that's not me. Let's see. I'm just here for spell casting. one position here. The only thing I don't like about the room management is if it's in an existing slot you can't easily move it to another one. Hmm. That might not work. We may have to move it to the left a little bit. The darn vivarium is taking up too much space. Turn on snapping too. Let's see. Take things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. There we go. That's looking good. All right. Uh, let's also look at the different colors. Oh, it's not gonna let me. Ah, huh, black looks kind of cool. I think I'll go with green. All right. What's down here? We have our desk, and I think I might take them out. We'll just go back to regular furniture. And let's see. It seems to be intentional that you can change the color of things by starting off with a certain style. So let's uh, see that out. Well, actually I can move it over here. And that would work out pretty nicely. Hmm. All right. And we'll put it here. And kind of running out of reasons to have so many potion stations, but I needed to brew a bunch at once. It'd be nice to have. Got six. Um, hmm. Maybe. Let me think what I could do here. Maybe I'll, I'll take down these mediums. Ah, uh, now I can't clear it off. Oh wait, I can empty the pot. That's what I can do. And... Let me think. Uh... Oh yeah, I need to empty the pot.
There we go. And we'll do a few more things. Actually, I want these to be blue, so we'll take them all back. I think this will work out nicely. It'll fit in a little bit better. And let's open this up a little bit by pulling back and we will place how about here. Oh, there's another one of those golden colored uh, lampposts. We'll switch it out too. And now with this room freed up a bit, I could put in some of those giant lamps that I was talking about earlier. I think that, that would be pretty fun. So let's look. And we'll just put in I don't know. Four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I think we'll do five. And then we'll transform each of them into the uh, floating candle type. And let's see. Yeah, let's make these giant. Uh, they can face two different ways. Let me look at how they look. Wonder if that would be better. I think that might be better. Hmm. I could get it closer to the wall though. I think with the other way. Yeah. That gets a little bit closer to the wall. Yeah. I think this will be fun. Um, let's do the next one. Oh. Okay. Thanks for following, Sephiroth. Now let's go up here. And we will place another. Let's see. I think I've got just this one left. All right. I think this looks pretty cool. And... Wow, this is looking totally different than how I had it before. Um, I feel like I could probably reduce some of my gardening efforts a little bit and instead move into more decorative stuff. Um, I'm just not sure though. Let's see. And a large planters you know of course could grow anything and I could just kind of swap out things as I want to but I do like having the different styles um, can I even check my stock of things let me see I 
Oh, yeah, totally can. So, I have plenty of moonstone. Looks like I have plenty of shrivel fig, too. Um, I can't remember if I followed you before or not. Um, I think I may have may have watched some of your streams at one point. I, uh, I do remember your username, but, uh, I, I don't follow too many on Twitch just because of, um, uh, I don't have much time to watch other streamers very often. Um, but I'm hoping to get into that more sometime this year. Let's see. Uh, I could probably go down to like one each of these small ones. Let's see, Dittany and Mallow Sweet. Hmm. Mandrakes are also small, small pot ones too. Huh. One each of the other ones and two Mandrakes might be plenty. Okay, I think maybe I'll I'll do that. That'll cut down on the amount of things that we need to uh, constantly do, and of course we can do um, something else. We'll see. So I think I'll, just for an interesting symmetry, I'll put the mandrakes all in here. Actually, I think there was a third, third thing, wasn't there? Not grass, that's what it was. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard some mention of something about that. And, uh, you know, it's it's totally up to, you know, my feeling on it is, uh, you know, people are going to play what they want to play. And, um, you know, definitely don't support some of those um, views of the author, of course. But, um, you know, this project is, in my opinion, extremely inclusive and... Um, you know, had all kinds of people work on it and built it, and it's a very large scale, you know, effort. So, you know, I hope that um, things will calm down, and you know, people will understand that it's it's not directly uh, showing a sign of support for anyone. You know, um, has those kinds of views. Hi, Wiz. How are you doing? I'm doing alright. Just been uh, doing a quest or two. I got the Crucio Curse and a uh, bunch of renovation work on the Room of Requirement. Let's see. Mandrakes, Not Grass, Malice Sweet. I think Dittany's the one I'm missing. Yeah. There we go. Glad you're doing fine. Just really trying to get this all sorted out nicely here. Um, shrivel fig. I think I have so much of it that I'm not really going to have to worry about it again. So let's just go ahead and hmm, could get it down to one and keep two of the cabbages. Actually, I think that's what I'll do. Uh, let's see. What can we put in here? I guess we will keep one shrivel fig. Just one. Okay, so this is reducing things down quite a bit. I don't want to keep the malice sweet, so we'll get rid of it. And I think keeping two venomous tentacula would be wise. So we'll do that. And let's see, flux weed. Now that is 
Um, something else. Oh, I think that guy was talking about, um, you know, some of the controversies around the release of this game and, uh, you know, JK Rowling and, you know, I was just kind of saying, I, I don't support, you know, her views, um, or anyone that shares them. So I kind of feel like, you know, this game wasn't, you know, made by her. Like she had zero involvement other than original material and, uh, you know, this is made by all kinds of people, like thousands of people work on a game of this skill. And, uh, you know, I, I think they would want people to play it, you know, and uh, I think that there's a lot of celebrated, you know, diversity in this game and, um, you know, far more inclusive than not. So, yeah, it's sad what, you know, some people have done, but... If you look at any given video game, um, you know, there's been bad people of all walks, you know, uh, work on them at some point, you know, sadly. Oh, yeah, I would agree. You know, they definitely um, need more help. No disputing that. And, uh, you know... I, I think that there's, there's helpful things that everybody can do, but, you know, a more effective action versus, you know, playing a game or not would be, say, maybe donating to a charity or volunteering, you know, to help people and, you know, for any given thing. Um, so, like I said, like, it is very unfortunate what uh, Rowling did and continues to do. And, uh, you know, for her sake and other people's, I hope that she'll change her way and make amends one day. That's okay. You know, you're um, always welcome. Anyone's welcome to speak about what they want to speak as long as they're, you know, respectful and, uh, you know, kind to each other. I really just hope that everyone can have fun if they're hanging out here. And, uh, I typically try to leave, you know, my thoughts, uh, you know, out there. Cause to me, this is a safe space for people to come in, just relax and hang out. Um, but you know, like if we ever have a trolling situation from anybody, we'll, we'll do the appropriate things. And, uh, address it accordingly so but thankfully everybody's been really nice so far and uh you know hopefully we can continue that way ah uh, yeah yeah i would have potentially done something similar to that but you know it's uh it's one of those things that when i was able to you know, send uh, full support for games and stuff. I, I've i always tried to, like, I used to not be uh, the best about that, but, like, um, after seeing just what goes into these games of this skill, like, I always felt bad. Because, um, I mean, it's just so, so many, you know, hours of labor and definitely encourage people that when they can, you know, support the things you enjoy. Uh, let's see. I think actually I'll bring these in a little bit closer. We'll do... We'll push it up all the way, and that way they take up most of my room and I can harvest them. Yeah. And then we'll move... Actually, we can't move this all the way, but I think we can move it closer. Yeah, some of the puzzles are hard. Like, the Depulso rooms are very difficult. Um, I, uh... I had to look up guides for them because they were not easy. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think I'm going to have to drag this all the way over here. Uh, let's see. I don't know what's stopping that one, but whatever it is, I'll just 
drag this one out a little bit further. And I think I've almost got the room rearranged the way I like it. So we'll probably be calling it a stream pretty soon. Um, let's see, maybe come up with a few things to put over here, but I might save that for later. Uh, actually, let's just go ahead and toss a couple uh, candles here because I don't decorate very often while I'm at it. Might as well get it done. So there you go. And we'll change them up to the bigger version with the different style. Yeah, there we go. Now let's uh, talk to Deke to make it nighttime again. I think it, it'll be uh, interesting to see with the changes that we made. Oops. Didn't mean I'd Protego like to ask again. You about changing the room's <laughs> ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, let's see. Do dark to Mr. Like oh, sounds perfect. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, looks really good actually with all of the uh, candelabras around. Um, I may end up putting one near this furniture later, but feeling pretty good about things so far. This is exciting. Nothing's really blocking anymore. I've so many supplies. I really didn't need it. Um, I could move this tentacula to the back so that that way we got a little bit of a better um, visual symmetry here. So let's put us a tentacula back. And yeah, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff you can do in this game. Like it really is impressive. Um, I'd say stick with it, you know, like, if you like it, keep playing. Okay, well some things are starting to come to fruit um, after that big rearrangement of everything, so that's cool. Um, I think I'll just let things keep growing, and let's see, we do need to get us another uh, focus potion started, so... We'll do that before we head out, and um, let's look in here. So yeah, yeah, everything is totally different. My room requirement I've got us down to kind of just what we need, and um, this refine, I'll consume these two, and that way we'll get another hopping pot started. We'll pick up these things, and the chopping stations as well, and uh, yeah. Maybe we'll do another round of decoration in another stream or two, but Deep we'll be back on mainline quests and uh, other things soon. So, okay, I think that we'll go ahead and call it a stream for the day. And thank you, uh, Sephiroth, for rejoining us. And I'll go ahead and roll credits say thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at S Tier Rank on each of those. And I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good day.